Hi everybody, it's Jennifer from The Good Life and welcome to part three of this Bucilla stocking tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be putting uh, most of Santa together and I'm so excited to share this tutorial with you. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my channel. So let's get started. I already cut out and sequined the number 11 piece right here. And um, in the instructions it says sequin stuff and applique the Santa suit, the glove, number 12, and the sleeve trim to the stocking. So basically what that means is I already sequined this so what we're going to do is we're going to cut number 12 and number 13 out and we're going to attach it to here and then once that's attached then we'll attach the entire thing to the stocking. So this is the piece all appliqued and sequined and I applicated all the way around except for this spot right here and this is where we're going to add the stuffing. So I usually like to take a little bit at a time and start at the smaller area. I'm just going to use my pencil and just stuff it. See how already it looks like it's puffed up? Keep doing that throughout the entire piece until it's at the dimension that you like. Just kind of push it around with your finger. And already it looks really, really good. And that's the back of it, so it's gonna bulge out a little bit. But do that for the entire piece and then we'll close it up. So here's the finished piece all stuffed and sequined and put together. That's what the back of it looks like. You want it to, to be stiff enough to where it's not deflated looking. And you want it to kind of look full because you know this is Santa so he's kind of a plump dude. So the next piece that we're going to be doing is number 14. It's Santa's face. And in the instructions, it says to embroider stuff and applique the face to the stocking. So we're going to embroider his face according to the instructions. And I'll show you what that looks like when I'm done. So here's Santa's face, all embroidered. And I used the satin stitch for all three colors. And we're going to applique the face and stuff the face. So here is Santa's face, all stuffed and appliqued and we're going to be putting on the next piece. Here's Santa's beard um, completely beaded and sequined and I took some thread and um, I actually started in the middle of his sleeve and appliqued the piece about three quarters of the way and I'm gonna stuff it with some polyfiberfill. And um, I usually do little chunks at a time. So I'll start with a big chunk and then tear it off and do even littler chunks so that it's more even. And you'll be surprised how much polyfiberfill actually goes into this beard. Um, but I'll show you what it looks like after it's completely stuffed and I'll show you the difference. So here's what, what it looks like without the stuffing and then I'll show you when it's stuffed. Here's the finished beard for Santa. And notice I uh, made sure that we didn't sew onto the ribbon of the package. Make sure that if you decided to keep this package ribbon free that you sew behind it. Um, if you decided to sew it down then that's fine too. So make sure that you're following the lines for the beard so that when you stuff you have enough room to put as much stuffing as you'd like in there. We'll be putting on the hat next. A 
Okay, so I went ahead and finished Santa's hat, and Santa's hat consists of three pieces. Um, the pom-pom piece, the red hat part, and then the white trim. And all three of them are separate, and you have to sew on each indivi individual piece first, and then attach the hat. So that's what we're going to do next. We're really going to attach the hat to the stocking. And um, I will probably start right around here and stuff as I go. So I'll show you what that looks like when it's done. I decided to start here and embroider this side of the hat and then um, I started the pom-pom first, um, embroidered it most of the way around and then stuffed it and then closed it and then that way the pom-pom's done. So the pom-pom's done, um, I just need to do the rest of the hat. The pom pom is the hardest. So I just need to do the rest of the hat and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. So here's the finished hat stuffed and appliqued. This part is a little tricky to get around um, because I use this corner of the hat to stuff. So make sure you go nice and slow and that you're following the dotted line and that you make sure that you're not sewing into too much of the Santa's face. So that's the finished hat, and we're gonna work on the mustache. Here's the pieces for the mustache. Uh, I embroidered the little part right here, the gray, and it's got two sides, a front and a back, and we're going to just applique those two pieces together, and then we're going to attach the mustache to Santa. So here is the finished mustache, both sides embroidered together. And before you tie it off and cut it, use this opportunity to place the mustache on Santa. And what you're going to do is you're going to just attach it with a few stitches. And you only need a couple. And you can maneuver it however you feel. And you can leave it like that, or you could add maybe a couple of stitches on the bottom. It's really up to you. And there's the mustache for Santa. So if you've been following along, that's how much Santa we've done. Um, we can't complete Santa yet because we have to do the airplane next. So um, once the airplane's done, then we can add the second arm onto Santa. So look forward to that in my next tutorial. And if you want to leave a comment below, um, I love hearing from you guys and I appreciate all the views and all the subscribers out there. You guys are awesome and I'm enjoying every bit of this. So please stay tuned for my next tutorial and I will see you guys next time. Bye.